Hi everyone, Christina here. Thanks so much for joining me at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be creating this card using watercolor stamps from Art Impressions. These are really great cling stamps that you can use to create watercolor looks on your cards. So the two stamp sets I'm using today, one is from that watercolor line and this is the palm tree set and the other is the sentiment set two, which is actually a clear stamp set. And I'm gonna use that for the greeting for my card today. Now I'm going to be using some Tombow dual brush and markers to do all of the stamping and because watercolor markers work best and kind of blend out best on Bristol paper, I'm going to be using some Strathmore Bristol paper today. So I'm going to trim this down to, well at the time it was going to be for a card base, I was going to paint this directly on the card. but. The plans for my card kind of warped and changed and I adapted my card design and changed it. So for now you're going to see it taped down to my board and it looks like a big three panel card but eventually I'll trim that down. So the stamps that come from our impressions, these watercolor stamps, they're actually cling. They're a gray rubber and you have to remove the paper backing which reveals the cling surface and then they stick to your acrylic blocks or your misty stamp positioning tool or whatever you want to use for your stamping. I'm going to be using one waterproof ink. This is the color uh, pine cone. This is VersaFine Claire ink and I mostly wanted to stamp the tree trunks in this waterproof ink because I wasn't quite sure at this point um, if I stamped the, tr the tree trunks in a brown marker, if painting over the top would get rid of all of those detail lines and I didn't want to lose them. So I thought it best to go ahead and stamp the tree trunks in a waterproof ink so I could paint over the top of them. So in hindsight, I think I may have still done this, but used a lighter brown so it wasn't quite so dark. So the way you do this with the markers is you just kind of rub the tip of the marker over the stamp image. And I kind of tip my brush marker so that it's kind of flat. So you're actually coloring on the stamp with the side of the marker. And then you color that on and then you stamp it down and then you can use water to soften all of that color. So I used two or three different colors of green to do all of these leaves on the palm trees and Art Impressions and Bonnie Krebs who designs all these stamps was super methodical and smart about how these stamps were created for the palm trees. There are leaves that bend in each direction. So you have some palm leaves that have the stem on the right and some that have the, have the stem on the left. So you do have to kind of swap between the different palm leaves and like do the mental math in your head about where the stem's coming from and which direction it's going to go. But once you kind of have that figured out, this is super easy and simple. So I just kind of moved back and forth between the different colors of green to add all of these palm trees. After I had like my main two colors of green, which was like a really light green and then a medium tone green, I did end up coming in with an even darker green. And for those little stamps that I added here at the end, you're gonna see them in a minute here, I did not soften them with my watercolor brush because I wanted the detailed kind of, um, all the little straight line details of the palm leaves. I didn't want to lose those too much. I thought it really needed a little bit more of that detail. So here's where I'm going to start coming in with a little bit more of a darker green, getting a little more of those details. And um, eventually I'll start painting in the tree trunks. And I'm using a couple different colors of brown for the tree trunks. I didn't want to have it be too pale. So I did want to make sure that I brought in a couple different colors. Now I did want to mention that on the cover of that stamp set from our impressions, they do have an example of how it's been painted before. So it gives you an idea of, you know, where you're headed with your stamping, which I really appreciate. And it's a great guide for what type of colors you want to use. So I'm adding a little more brown here on the tree trunks. I'm going to add a little more of a reddish brown to kind of warm up that tree trunk color. And then I'm going to pick out a few colors for the sand that's going to be at the bottom and uh, like at the tree, the base of the trees, and then the water, and then also the sky. Now here's where using Bristol paper works amazing for these watercolor markers or for these Tombow markers. You'll see how much it blends out from where I 
colored on with the marker itself. So if you're struggling with using watercolor markers or Ziggs or Tiza watercolor markers or even these Tomos, if you're struggling getting a really good blend with them, I really recommend using Strathmore Bristol Smooth paper. It's like night and day. I used to hate watercolor markers. I detested them. I didn't like them. I couldn't get a smooth blend. But once I tried it on Bristol, that changed everything. So now I'm coming in with like a lighter blue for the sky. I'm just going to soften it and get some little blue areas. I don't want it to be super blue. I don't want it to compete with that water. So some of you may have guessed this, but I'm actually making this card for a friend who loves the beach, who loves um, anywhere where she can get her feet in the water <laughs> and be in the sun. So this is for my friend Jennifer. I'm going to send this card to her. And when it came to picking out a greeting for this card... I couldn't think of one that was more perfect than home sweet home. She's always said that the ocean and the beach is her happy place and it's where she feels most at peace, most at home. And so while this might not be like true for everyone, not everyone has their home at the beach. Um, I thought pairing the home sweet home greeting with this uh, scene would be perfect. So I've created my card base out of some Nina Desert Storm 100 pound cardstock. I've just folded that in half. And I've also trimmed out or cut out a circle over that scene. I just used the nested circle dies from Simon. I'm going to put this die cut circle off to the side and have it kind of hang off the edge of the card. And I'm going to apply it using some uh, foam adhesive. So after I have it adhered, then I'll cut off the side. And I made sure that when I put the adhesive on that I didn't have the adhesive over that far right edge. So that I didn't have to worry about cutting through the foam tape after I had it applied. So I'm going to press this down onto this card base right there. And then I used... Um, an exacto knife or a craft knife and a ruler to get a really nice clean edge and I don't think I would have necessarily had to cut this off I probably could have kept it and just put it in a slightly larger envelope but I really wanted that nice clean edge so like I mentioned before for the greeting it's going to say home sweet home I'm using the greeting from that art impression stamp set I'm stamping it in Versamark ink onto some licorice twist cardstock from Basil I'm going to dip this uh, stamped image into some white embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. This is the color alabaster. And I'm going to tap off all the excess, make sure there's nothing hanging around where I don't want it, and then heat set that with my heat tool until it's smooth and melted. Use some scissors to trim that out, and then I put some foam tape on the back of that grating. And I'll put it just right over the top of this scene, kind of hanging off the left edge of that circle. Um, I felt like this card needed a little more detail. It was very, very plain. So I took a black marker and just added some dash lines around that circle. And then I finished off the top uh, right corner with a corner chomper. I haven't done the dash lines or the corner rounding in a long time. So I'm breaking it out, bringing it back. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, just so you guys know, there is a sale over at Simon's Stamp right now on all art impression stamps. So take advantage of that. I'll have the info down below. Thank you.